Hello, and welcome to Cincinnati Museum Center's Story Tree Time. This week, it's fall. Okay, it's been fall for a while now, but it finally feels like fall. Temperatures are getting more temperate, birds are ramping up for a whirlwind migration, while other birds are like, we're fine here, thanks. But most of all, all the leaves are falling off the trees, which is fantastic, and a healthy part of a tree's life cycle. I actually made a music video about this last year, and if possible, I'll post a link to it. But what if, hypothetically, a leaf didn't feel like falling? That's what this week's book, Leaf and the Fall, is all about. Let's read it. Leaf and the Fall by Allison Sweet Grant and Adam Grant. Illustrated by Mary Lee Lydiard. Leaf is a leaf. A small green leaf with browning edges who lives in a big oak tree. The breeze is blowing harder, Leaf says to himself. The days are getting shorter. It's nearly fall. Leaf knows that in the fall, leaves fall from trees. And Leaf is worried. I don't want to bump my head, Leaf says to his friend Laurel. I don't want to skin my knee. I do not want to fall. Let's figure out a way for you to catch yourself, Laurel says. All leaves fall in the fall, the other leaves say. But Leaf is determined, and with Laurel's help, he comes up with a plan. The next day, Leaf and Laurel gather twigs and build a net. Now you can use the net to catch yourself, Laurel says. But the holes in the net are too big, and Leaf is too small. He would slip right through. Leaf tosses the net to the ground below. You're wasting your time, the other leaves say. All leaves fall in the fall. But Leaf comes up with another plan. This time, Leaf and Laurel gather vine to secure Leaf to his branch. Now, no matter how strong the winds blow, you'll be able to hang on, Laurel says. But Leaf accidentally wraps himself up too tight. Help, he cries. I'll get you out. Laurel says, and hurries to help Leaf wriggle free. Leaf tosses the vine to the ground below. You're wasting your time, the other leaves say. All leaves fall in the fall. But Leaf comes up with yet another plan. This time, Leaf and Laurel build a kite out of bark and moss. You can soar your way down and land in a nice soft patch of grass, Laurel exclaims. But the tail of the kite gets tangled in the branches, and Leaf ends up going nowhere at all. He tosses the kite to the ground below. You're wasting your time, the other leaves say again. All leaves fall in the fall. But still, Leaf tries again. A swing. A trampoline. A parachute. Leaf tries everything he can think of. but none of his ideas quite work, and they all end up tossed to the ground below. We told you, taunt the other leaves. You were just wasting your time. All leaves fall in the fall. Leaf hangs from his branch, feeling very disappointed. Laurel is sad too. You had a lot of good ideas, Laurel says. Days pass. The air grows cooler, the wind blows stronger, Leaf's edges turn browner. All leaves fall in the fall, he thinks, and he feels as if he has failed. Leaf hangs from his branch, shivering and afraid. Laurel gives him a squeeze. All of the sudden, the wind churns, the branches shake, and with one large cold blast, Leaf can hang on no longer. And Leaf falls right onto his pile of discarded ideas. All the ideas that Leaf threw away, the ones he'd tossed to the ground because he thought they'd never work, made a structure tall enough and strong enough to stand on. Leaf cannot believe his eyes. He stands up and smiles. Then he grabs Laurel's hand, and together they walk right down to the ground below. The end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please tune in every Wednesday on the Cincinnati Museum Center Facebook and Instagram pages, and there should be another one just waiting for you. 
And until then, I'll see you later.